Spurgeon here with RevZilla with a detailed breakdown for the Fly 9mm helmet available at RevZilla.com. So the Fly 9mm helmet is going to be a military inspired half helmet for you riders out there that are looking for a very unique and certain style with minimal amounts of protection. Now it's still going to be a DOT helmet so keep that in mind if you're living in a state that does require helmet laws this will keep you covered in the eyes of Johnny Law. Now it is a polycarb shell DOT rated when we threw it on our scale, it came in at two pounds, three ounces, so it's relatively lightweight. There is no venting with this helmet, so just keep that in mind. It is what you see is what you get here on the table. Now, as far as shell size breakdown, there's three different shell sizes, so the helmet will fit differently or will be sized differently depending on what size you go with. There are gonna be a large variety of sizes with this, so extra small through medium will be the first shell size, and then large through 2XL will be the second shell size, and then when you get up from 3XL to 5XL, that's going to cover your third shell size. So if you have a larger head, it is going to work for you. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, it's going to be more of a neutral oval shape to this. So it's going to be a little bit wider on the sides, a little bit narrower front to back. If you do have a round head, this is going to work nicely for you. Now, before you get into any of this, we took our cameraman, Ryan. We had him model this for you so you can see exactly how cool this helmet looks on a real human. This is definitely going to be all about the look for the 9mm. Now, if you want to bump up to something with a slightly different look and with a drop down sun visor, check out the Fly 357. The 357 is going to give you a little bit of a different look to it, still going to maintain that DOT rating, and will give you a drop down sun visor with this particular helmet. Now, like I said earlier, you're going to have three different shell sizes. You are going to have a dual density EPS liner with this, but you're going to notice as I'm spinning it around, there's no external vents on this. So again, you're just getting a nice solid shell with a really military-esque theme. So at this point, let's take it and let's take a look at the inside. Shall we? I think we shall. Now, when you're looking at the Y straps on this, they are going to be a nice lined Y strap. It's going to feel nice and comfortable against your face. And when we're looking at the liner on this, it is fully removable. Now the one nitpick that I do have is that the liner doesn't actually really mount anything, it just kind of pulls right out. So if you're riding through a, a state that doesn't require you to wear a helmet and you have this helmet strapped to the back of your sissy bar, you are going to want to pull the liner out, throw it in a saddlebag, otherwise you're going to get to your destination and it's going to have blown away. Now you will see it is a nice sweat wicking mesh liner and you do have a series of stars in there just to add a little bit of flair to the liner itself. Like I said earlier, there's no ventilation here and it is a dual density EPS liner with this DOT rated. So it will work to satisfy all those DOT laws if you are riding through a state that does require you to wear a helmet. Now there are a lot of riders out there that like this particular look, that like the idea of wearing a military inspired half helmet. Personally, it doesn't really appeal to me. But if it appeals to you and you want to see what other riders are saying about the Fly 9mm helmet, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device and read what other riders are digging about the 9mm helmet they're rocking on their rides. If you have more questions for us, never hesitate. Get on the phone, give us a call, 877-792-9455, or simply type us on email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Fly 9mm helmet. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.